Hey guys, welcome back to Scrubbing with E. Today's video, you guys have been asking for this video for so long. And honestly, I've been really nervous to make it because any medical student will tell you that your studying changes so much with every block, with every exam, with every subject. Um, you know, from my master's to just being three weeks into medical school, like I've already switched things up so much. Um, so studying, you know, for pre-med classes, for your master's, for medical school, it's all going to be different and it's always consistently changing. Um, so that's why I was kind of nervous about making this because I know that by next week I'm gonna like just have a new way of studying and a new way of doing things um, but I know that you guys want to know at least the gist and at least like you know the overview idea of how I did it so I'm gonna do it for you guys I'm gonna record this video for you guys um, so yeah so in this video I'm just gonna tell you guys just the general idea and kind of just like the gist of what I did during DPMS which was my special master's program um, I'm going I do have some things that I'm carrying over and using in medical school and then there's other things that I'm not and I'm gonna share those as well um, and yeah just just please remember that this is what works for me um, this may not work for you this may not work for your special master's program this may not work for your pre-med classes this may not work for your medical school classes um so it's really up to you it's really up to you to figure out kind of what works for you what kind of learner are you um what makes you you know retain the information better um but i hope this at least helps and gives you an idea of what i did and kind of um the things that work for me so that was my little spiel if you're interested in knowing how i studied during dpms and kind of what i'm doing now then keep watching so the way i study um both for my master's and for medical school basically i do passes and what passes mean is just how many times you're going over that lecture and that information so for example people do three passes which means you know they read it then they watch a video then they do practice problems. That's that's three different passes. That's three different ways you're looking at the material and learning it and reviewing it. Um, and then there's people who do 10 different passes. So it really just depends. Um, so I'm just going to tell you guys kind of what I did. So my first pass of a lecture. So after I export it into Notability, I have my PDF. The first thing I always do is look at the objectives. So all of our lectures have objectives and it's kind of just, you know, the the different points that the professor wants you to get out of this lecture. Right. So um, it has a list, you know, at the end of this learning module, students will be able to blank, 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 you know, describe this pathway, list this, etc. So the first thing I do, I read those and I read the objectives because while you're reading the lecture you kind of want to make sure you are remembering what they think is important and what they want you to know so while i'm reading the lecture i can you know i can highlight things that relate to the objectives um so i'm not sure if that makes sense but basically you want to make sure that while you're reading the lecture you're paying attention to these specific things that were highlighted in the objectives because that's what the professors want you to know you know that's the basis of what they want you to know so you know if you get that then you're you're at a good place um and then you can just fill it in with more details later so my first pass is reading the objectives and then i i read through the lecture so what does reading through the lecture mean for me it means writing notes on the sides it means highlighting information um you know so i i basically you know if i see um a bolded word i'll highlight it if i see that you know there's things that are being compared i'll write it and i'll you know i'll put this versus this and what they each mean um so that's my first pass my first pass is basically reading the objectives and reading through the lecture kind of paying attention to the big points and 
and what I think is and what I think is important based on the objectives. Once I'm done reading and highlighting things and just writing things in the margins, um, I watch the video. So all of our lectures are also accompanied by videos where the professor just goes through it again. Um, and this is considered my second pass. So my first pass, I just read it. That's you know my first pass of going through the material. So my now my second pass is watching the video. Now I'm getting more information. Now I can review the information in a different way because now I'm hearing it. Um, so for the videos, I usually have my videos on 1.5 speed or even two times speed, depending on how fast your professor speaks. Um, and basically with the videos, I'm just kind of trying, I'm trying to pay attention to anything that they emphasize because then you know, okay, this must be really important they're probably going to write a practice i mean they're probably going to write an exam question on this um so you want to pay attention to what they're emphasizing um and any additional details that they might not have included in the lecture but they're saying it in the video you also want to write those things down or let's say you were reading something and you didn't understand it maybe hearing it from them maybe when they explain it out loud then you can better understand it so that's kind of why i watch the videos so that's considered my second pass. So again, to review, my first pass was just reading the um, objectives, going through the lecture, you know, reading it, highlighting things that I think um, are important, you know, writing things in the margins. And then my second pass is watching the video and adding things in. So that's two passes of the material. Now, my third pass is where it kind of varies. Um, so for my special master's program, my third pass was condensing my notes. So condensing your notes basically just means you're putting the notes into your own words and in a way that you understand it. So you're writing it out in a way that makes sense to you and in your own words. And it's really helpful because seeing things in your own words um, and you know drawing things out and making flow charts, it helps you kind of put everything together instead of just seeing a lecture with just a bunch of words. So I'm going to show you guys an example of what my, condon what my condensed notes looks like for a lecture. Um, and yeah, so basically, you know, I have the lecture right next to it or, you know, it's up on my computer. And on a separate piece of paper, I just write everything down. I make connections. I do flow charts. I, I draw stuff out. I label diagrams. And that's kind of just helping me, you know, put everything onto like one or two pages and then I can just study from that because now it's in my own words. So it's easier for me to grasp the information. So that's my third pass. Now in medical school, what I've been doing is I haven't been watching the videos. So my second pass has kind of been condensing my notes. Um, just because a lot of people say that in medical school, you may not need to watch the videos just because there's so much information that we have to get through and you know the the lectures themselves are already very detailed and everything we have to know is there um so a lot of people don't watch the video so i've been trying that we'll see how it goes um so basically my first pass has been the same thing you know reading it and writing stuff out writing stuff down and highlighting um and my second pass has been condensing my notes so i still have been doing that not for every single lecture but for some lectures um that i think you know i would benefit from you know writing writing it out um and then my third pass has been using anki um anki is just a whole other beast in the medical school world i'm still trying to learn it i'm still trying to get used to it but basically it's a flashcard app and it has an algorithm that really helps you retain information um so it basically shows you cars you know in one day and then in four days and you know it has an algorithm built into it so that you can retain all the information so i've been doing that for my third pass for every lecture so again you guys can play around with this you can do it in different orders i know people who watch the videos first because they want to get you know just a gist of what they're about to read um, and then they read the lecture and then they do Anki or and then they condense their notes So again, you can play around with the order. You can do whatever you think will work best for you 
again, the way I learn is writing things out, um, which is why I spend so much time condensing my notes because while I'm writing the lecture out and, you know, drawing things and making flow charts, I'm learning it better and I feel like it helps me, it helps me retain the information more. Um, and then Anki as well, you know, I like doing flashcards. It's quick. It's a nice way to just review. Um, so that's why I've been incorporating more into my medical school study schedule. Now, I hope that all made sense. Those are my main passes, you know, my first, second, and third pass. Now for fourth pass, fifth pass, sixth pass, um, you can do a lot of things. So for example, in DPMS, um, which was my special master's program, I'm going to always say DPMS, but I... Hopefully you guys watched my DPMS video and you guys know that I came from a special master's program. Um, so for that, usually my fourth pass would be watching a YouTube video. So for example, for biochem, after I condensed my notes, I would go watch Ninja Nerd. And Ninja Nerd is just amazing. He is part of the reason why I passed biochem. Um, so definitely check him out. But basically my fourth pass would be watching his YouTube videos and with my condensed notes in front of me, I'd either, you know, add things that he's saying that makes sense. I would, you know, just, you know, cross-reference myself with what he's saying, adding more information. And if there's something that I'm still not, like, you know, really clear on, then I'll just, again, draw it out again um, or write it out the way he's explaining it. So that would be considered a fourth pass because, again, I'm looking at that material again, but in a different way. Um, for medical school, my fourth pass is usually going to a TBL, which is team-based learning, um, because we go over the lectures and we do problems and we do cases that have to do with the lecture. Um, and then they, they explain to us why the answers are the answers. So it's another way of reviewing that information. So that's kind of my fourth pass. Um, my fifth pass could be practice problems and annotating the practice problems. My sixth pass could be, what could be my sixth pass? Watching another YouTube video, whatever it is, the point is that you're just going through the material over and over again in different ways. Something that I just started now in medical school is actually keeping track of how many passes I'm doing per lecture because we have a lot of lectures. Um, so I wanna make sure that I'm getting through each one you know, equally and in the same number of passes um, and just keeping track of it. So I actually started an Excel sheet which I'm gonna show you guys. Um, and it's basically how I organize my different passes. So for example, it says, you know, first pass would just be reading it. And then you have like focus questions and you know, some of our lectures have um, self, self assessments at the end of them. So, you know, doing those, that's a, that's a different pass. Um, condensing the notes, watching the videos, doing Anki, watching a YouTube video, um, going through my lab again, going through TBL again. Those are all more passes of the material. So right now, medical school, this is how I'm keeping track of it. And it's helping me stay very organized and also helping me just make sure that I'm on top of it and that, you know, I'm, I'm going through each of my lectures um, adequately and efficiently so that, you know, I'm getting the most out of them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it gave you some insight onto, you know, some of the things that I do, some of the things that worked for me. Again, please realize that what works for me may not work for you. You know, people learn in different ways. It's important to figure out how you learn and what works best for you. Don't compare yourself to anyone. Please don't. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you guys soon.